Hi, this is Lidiani Mako, and um, one of my friends asked me for a system where she could track all her contacts, where she could integrate with her email list, create a follow-up task, and uh, a placeholder for all documents. So um, one of my favorite CRMs is Insightly. So I'm just going to share how to do these things in Insightly. I do think it's a good product. So here we go. Here I have a list of my contacts in Insightly. And I have I apply tags when I add my con contacts to the system. So like here, for example, I have a list of people at the Inglewood Chamber, or not anymore. Um, here is a, a list of people who I uh, use their business cards to upload them to Insightly. And I have a list of people from the Denver Chamber, you know. And I can do a few things, like if I want to um, apply a note or add a tag, I can do these things by selecting all these contacts at once. The other thing I can do is send an email to a group of people by clicking on the send email. This feature limits you to send an email to 50 people at a time. So this is not going to replace your email marketing tool. But still, you could, for example, select all the contacts from a certain organization to send an email to. Um, you can use email templates, which save you time if you create templates just to connect with people after a networking event or something like that. You know. So um, the other part is... In organizations, for example, um, I'm going to pull up here um, RMMFI, which is an organization that is dear to my heart. And here it shows all the people that work there. It also shows all the emails I've exchanged with people who work there. It shows the notes. So here I can attach notes from Evernote or I can add a plain note here. Testing notes, um, this is a new note, and I can add a note. And here it is, you have one more note. You can also net attach files, like here I have um, an example of a file that is in a Google Doc, and I have another one that is in a OneDrive file, you know, so just different examples of how you can save your documents or link to your documents from the CRM system. So what else? Let me see. I covered a place for all your contacts, email list, create a follow-up. So creating a follow-up, it's as simple as you can create a task and you can do that at the organization level, you know, like celebrate with RMMFI or um, I would put here email and it's tomorrow just it's due tomorrow so or next week so it's just something for me to track the other part of it is you can also track opportunities here I think this is one of the best things that you can do so I can filter here only for open opportunities right now. And those are mostly test data from me. So um, I can open. And when I create an opportunity, I can assign a pipeline for it that helps me to track all the steps that I want to make sure I do when I create a proposal. You know, So that's one way to make sure you do all the follow-ups you want to do. The other way is, uh, for example, for new people that you meet out networking, you can come and create a leads record. Um, and when you create a new lead, then you can do, you know, it's a suspect you haven't contacted yet, or you can change to, uh, you know, contact, um, contacted and, um, and then you can also convert this lead into a contact after you identified, oh, yeah, this actually is a person who could potentially be interested in our services. So you can convert that lead into an opportunity. This is the symbol for opportunity. Or you just change the lead and save it in your database as a contact. So 
these are all cool things that you can do with um, Insightly. The other part is if you integrate your email, you can also send an email from here. So let me show you. Maria Hita, it's my test record in this system. So I'm just going to send an email to myself here just so you can see. Testing email. Actually, we can go ahead and do a template. So here you go. Now um, I'm sending my email. And if I go back to my home tab, um, in this home tab, they al always add announcements of new tools. But here is uh, the email that was just sent out for this conf this contact, you know, the email is saved. If I go back to the contact record, here is the email. So, um, oh, the other part you asked was about um, integration with MailChimp. So here's one of the things that I can do, export this contact to MailChimp. So every time you add someone new to your Insightly database, you can export to MailChimp. It will ask for additional configuration, like which list do you want it to go in MailChimp and stuff like that. And the cool thing about the integration between Sightly and MailChimp is that I'm going to pull up here the record for one of my contacts who opened all of the newsletters I've sent him. So look at this. Uh, it will load here in a second. But when you use the integration with MailChimp, it does show all this information here. Yeah. Another very cool inf integration that you have available with Insightly is uh, for QuickBooks Online, only the online version. Okay, if you don't have the online version, it's not going to show, it's not going to work. But the same way it creates a new a tab here for MailChimp, it creates a, the icon here for QuickBooks and it can show, you know, previous payments from that contact and things like that. I hope this is helpful. Thank you.